Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we learn how to express whole numbers that are given to you in figures or numerals to words. Okay. Now, why would you want to convert numbers to words? Well, the reason why you would want to convert numbers to words is because when written in words, numbers make more sense. So if you have, say, for example, two, six, three, marbles okay say you have these many number of marbles and if someone asks you how many marbles you've got you're not going to say i've got two six three marbles right you're more likely going to say i've got 263 marbles right so in your head what you did was you did some calculation and you figured out that this 263 this number 263 in words is actually equal to 263 so how did you convert this 263 to 263 well actually what you did was you started with three and you know that three was in the one place so this was equal to three right three times one so this is three then you took six and you said okay six is at the tens place so its value must be equal to six times ten which is sixty and then you took two and you said well two is in the hundreds place so it's not just two it's not even just twenty it's two times hundred and two times hundred is two so you said, well, 263 is actually 263. So there you go. That's how you express this number that was given to you in numerals, 263, to words which came to be 263. So that's what you do when you want to express a number that's given to you in figures, to words. So what you do is you take each of the digits in the number, you assign them a place, and then you find out the value and you just read out the value. And that's the number expressed in words. So what you do with a small number is exactly what you do with a big number as well. So if you have a big number, okay, let me take a big number. Let's say that we have got a number like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I've got a 9-digit number here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I want to express this in words. So how do I go about doing that? Well, what I do first of all is I have something like a table over here and what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to put this all this all these digits into this table and then I'm going to mark the place of each of these digits okay so I put the 9 here because 9 is in the least important place right so I put the 9 here followed by 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one okay so i've put all the nine digits into this table here and then i'm going to assign a place to each of these digits now since nine is in the least important place its place is ones and when a digit is in the ones place you know that its value is equal to times one so nine is nine times one so nine is really the value of nine over here is just nine but Eight, on the other hand, is in the tens place. Okay, so eight is not just eight; its value is eighty. So this is actually times ten because this is in the tens place. So its value is eight times ten, which is equal to eighty. Now for seven, seven is in the hundreds place. Now we learned that in smaller classes, the places go like ones, tens, hundreds, and so on, right? Seven is in the hundreds place, so its value is seven times hundred. So seven times hundred is simply 700. Now the next digit left to 7 is in the thousands place. So 6 is in the thousands place. After 1s, 10s and 100s comes thousands. So its value is 6 times 1000, right? So 6 times 1000 is nothing but 6000. So this is 6000. Then comes 5 and 5 is in the 10,000 place. So this is 10,000s place and 10,000s means that you have to multiply 5 by 10,000 and 10,000 means a 10 followed by three zeros and when you multiply 5 by 10,000 what you get is you get 50,000 5 times 10,000 is 50,000 so this is 50,000 next is 4 and 4 is in the 100,000s place because after 10,000 comes 100,000s. Or actually to the left of 10,000s is 100,000s. So 4 times 100,000. 100,000 is 100 followed by 3 zeros. So 4 times 100,000 is 400,000. 
So this is simply 400,000. Then comes your millions. So the three is in the millions place and millions means one followed by six zeros. And three times one million or three times million means three million. So this guy, three is in the millions place and its value is equal to three million. Then comes 10 million. Okay, this is pretty mechanical. To the left of million is 10 million. So you simply multiply this by 10 followed by six zeros. And what you get is two times 10 million would be two times 10 is 20. And then you simply have millions. So two times 10 million is simply 20 million. So this is 20 million. Then finally, we have 100 millions. Okay, so this place to the left of 10 millions is 100 millions. Okay, so one place higher than 10 millions is 100 millions and 100 millions means 100 followed by six zeros. And one times 100 is simply 100. And since this is 100 millions, it's actually equal to 100 million. Okay, so this is 100 million or 100 million. Okay, now read out the number in words. Well, what is the value of this number in words? Well, this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in words is 100 million and 20 million and 3 million and 400,000 and 50,000 and 6,000 and 789. So this number is actually this long thing. But there is a trick to saying this number. You don't say it like this because we can see that there are certain parts in this number that are repeated. Like, for example, the million here, the million here, and the million here, and the thousand here, and the thousand here, and the thousand here. So why say the million three times when you can do with saying it just once? So why say 100 million and 20 million and 3 million? Simply say it as 123 million. Similarly, for 400,000 and 50,000 and 6,000, don't say it like 400,000 and 50,000 and 6,000. We just say 456,000. So we say the thousand just once and over here we say the million just once. So actually let me put these three into one group okay, and drop some color just to show that they're in one group. Okay, so this is one group. Then I take these three. Okay, so the blue is in the millions group. Then I take the next three which are in the thousands group because they're all thousands. So this is another group. And finally we've got the 7, 8, and 9 also in one group because they don't have any suffix. So we put them in one group. Okay, so this is the no suffix group. Okay, now let's rewrite the number. So instead of calling this as 100 million and 20 million and 3 million, I'm going to call this as 123 million. I'm going to use the million, the word million just once. Okay, so this becomes 120 three million okay then the thousand but instead of saying this as four hundred thousand and fifty thousand and six thousand i'm gonna call this as four hundred and fifty six thousand See, I've used the word thousand just once and over here I've used the word million just once. And this one, the pink group is simply 789. So this is simply 789. So the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is 123 million. 456,789. All you did was from right to left, you divided or split up this number into groups of three digits. Okay. And then you know that the first group has got no suffix. The second group has got the suffix thousand. The third group has got the suffix million. Then Inside each of the group, you read the number as 123, and then you just add the suffix million. For this one, you say 456, and then 1,000, and this one, 789. So it's 123,456,789. That's your number in words. All right, so that's all you have to do when you're given any number, say another number. So this time, we've got only seven digits in this number. 
all you would do is from right to left, you would break this up into groups of three digits. Okay. Now this one over here, the last one, the millions group has got only one digit. If you want, you can put two zeros to make it three. Then you would say this is the million. So this is just one million. This is 234,000 and this is 567. So that's what you do. See, that's how easy it is. Well, that's that about this lesson. I hope you understood it and hope that now you'll go and do some practice exercises as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.